Hi, my name is Chloe. I am a company dancer and also a virtual teacher for the studios. And today I will be doing a one and only episode of Cooking with Chloe. And today my special guest is Dean Elliott. Hi, Hi, Chloe. Uh, Dean is also a company dancer and also a cake wizard. Follow him on Cakes by Dean on Instagram and you will see the most gorgeous cakes. And so I've never made a cake before, Dean. So I'm very excited. Me too. This is like the, the chocolate cake that I would always make. It's my go-to recipe. What would you call this cake? We don't even have a title for it. What would we call it? Mm. Well, cakes and Chloe's goes together quite good. It does. Chloe's. Chloe's chocolate. It's chocolate. Chloe's chocolate. Dream cake. Dream cake. <laughs> there we go, we've got it. All this carbs, is all sugar. This is a go big or go home kind of <laughs> recipe. First thing's first, we gotta do the prep. So we're gonna preheat our oven. Preheat oven. Line our pans with baking paper. I'm using a 20 centimeter tin, two 20 centimeters. I'm gonna teach you a little trick. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be complicated. Get a piece of baking paper that's bigger than your baking tin. You're just going to fold it in half. Oh, it's like origami. Fold it in half again. Ooh. Okay, and then I fold it there. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's right. And then you're just going to do the exact same thing one more time. So it's in a smaller triangle. It is like a paper plane. Yeah, it literally looks like one. Place the center of the triangle in like the center of your pan where that would be. Yes. Line it up with the edge and then cut along. Unfold it. So then. <laughs> Wait. What happened? Semicircles. Oh. <laughs> what did I do? Yeah, so you spray the pan before you put the paper in. Quite generously. You can get the sides too. My philosophy is if you're gonna make a cake, like just make a cake, you know? And like just if it's gonna be unhealthy, you know. Just go for it. Just go the whole, the whole yeah. way. Yeah, embrace it. I yeah. like that. <clears throat> it's like life, you know? We're going to make a buttermilk. Mm. 450 mils of milk. Okay. People have this thing with baking where they say it has to be absolutely perfect, but I don't know if I agree. That's nice. Because, you know, perfection doesn't exist, right? Right. But they're going to take the white vinegar and maybe about a tablespoon. Basically what the um, vinegar does is it separates the milk and makes it curdle. Let's get the eggs in there. Three eggs. Can you say eggs one more time? Eggs. Pour our milk in. Into the eggs? Yeah, into the eggs. The 300 mils of oil. 301. That's totally fine. A tablespoon would be great. All right. Then, oh, I just that. <laughs> I thought it would taste good. That doesn't taste good like that. Okay, we're about to whisk. I don't have a whisk. You don't have a whisk. No. Um. Okay, that's okay. I think I've got a spare one. Um. Uh, heads up. Thanks, babe. 450 mils. So we're going to put that on the heat, um, maybe medium heat, until it starts uh, simmering. Now we're going to get one cup of cocoa powder. Let's measure our sugar. 
Let's go. We're putting in 680 grams of sugar. Put the cocoa powder into the hot water. Okay. Slowly pour the cocoa powder into the milk mixture. Once we added the sugar, it's gone like really glossy and shiny. And oh my god, dark. it's like when you do a treatment in your hair and it leaves your hair super glossy and shiny and then it's really oily the next day and then you have to wash it again. Put four cups of plain flour. See, I could open this because I've been doing my own body conditioning classes. One. Maybe 13 or 14, I decided that I wanted to make my great Nana a birthday cake. It was her 98th birthday. So that was the first cake that I ever made. It was very basic with like white fondant and some flowers on it. So then I just kind of like kept going, kept practicing. It led into like this little side hustle, I guess a little full circle kind of thing. I made my great Nana's birthday cakes every year from that point until she was 103. So old. That's a lot of birthday cakes. She was a pretty, pretty special gal. Okay, ready? Yes. Yeah. I could actually just like dunk my head in this, but I won't. leaking is it really bad <laughs> is it bad is it bad my cortisol levels are really high right now i'm just watching chloe struggle on my laptop okay put a timer on for 45 minutes yeah that looks awesome <laughs> Oh, that tastes good. So. So. Low heat. Just mix it up and then that's it. Let's make sugar syrup. Finding teaching in the virtual studios, I absolutely love it. I have beautiful students who come um, every week and you know leave feeling really good and strong and really um, positive that they've moved their bodies. It's been such a positive thing for everyone, so it's really nice to kind of be a part of that. Oh my god, I love that. I took two spoonfuls. I just swipe up. Okay. It's like Tinder, but up and down. See? You're like, oh, oh I lost one. have finished making a Chloe chocolate dream cake. I want to say a massive thank you to Dean. Dean, how do you think I went? You did so good, Chloe. I'm so happy that both of our cakes turned out so good. Make your cake and enjoy it and then come join my class so we can work it all off. Love to you all. Stay safe, stay well. Mwah. Thanks everyone. Bye.